might work. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, this is the automata culture in Bombay. So these are locally made robots which are culturally implemented through religious festivals in Bombay. So they adapt a particular story and they make robots in that particular story with several characters and they do it as installations during the festivals in front of the god. So that is how this installations happen and I was lucky to photograph this whole uh, cultural thing happening. I see it as uh, poetry because what poetry does it, it takes it to another world or maybe even what a writer does through his novel, he takes you to another world. So we are in the real world and we're talking about another world. So I find that very fascinating and photography is no different to me in that way also. Photography can also be adapted to, you know, to use these mediums to tell stories in that way also. So uh, in daydreaming, I'm doing the same. I'm trying to fuse the real and the imaginary. Imaginary what comes to me, what I imagine and real what I see generally around. It's more instinctive than uh, than plan when you're doing a documentary work. So over here it was uh, both, uh, like for example this was staged, this photograph was staged when I saw this buffalo, a huge scale automaton on the, uh, uh, in one of the neighborhoods. I thought of, you know, uh, this photograph but then I asked my assistant to go in and you know, uh, show us if he's working. So the idea, I, when I saw this I already thought of the idea. So it, it worked either ways for me. You know, so as I'm working, I get ideas and I shoot according to those ideas. So, uh, so yes, documentary with, uh, with an artistic eye, I would say. It's not just seeing and making a picture. There has to be, there is some thought and feeling what I, what I, what I experience when I see something. A white marble every day, the title of this video installation um, is part of a larger part of work. Specifically this work came from investigation on the um, utopian social ideas that are usually associated with Brasilia and Oscar Niemeyer who's the designer of this building. This is the Supreme Court. My interest in architecture comes perhaps first from a personal experience that was not so intellectualized because I was like a kid when I first like moved to Brasilia but then later in college and study it came like the interest in investigating this history and understanding the social political uh, context that brought that into being and the complexi complexities that are associated uh, with the, the building of this city so absolutely when I saw those workers cleaning the, the floors was like, this is perfect. It's almost like all those contradictions, finding like an image where it's kind of illustrated in, in that image. Mm -hmm. And mean, it's found, right? So it's not constructed in the sense that I chose the uniforms that, I, that they use, that I chose uh, the kind of routine that it, no, that's, that's what is there. So if you really have a more like clinical eye to look at the city, you will find a lot of these examples. And my idea was that I didn't want to focus so much on the worker's identity per se, obviously that you can see them, but it's not about them as individuals, but it's more about their actions, what they are doing uh, in relationship to the architecture. When I started editing, was when I was like, well, but the interesting thing is when you can actually see both things at the same time, that you can see a detail and you can have a, a, like a wider shot where the architecture becomes present and becomes an environment for uh, the workers' ballet choreography. Because I think there is like a choreographic uh, aspect to what they are doing. They go all around the building. They do exactly the same actions, you know, like a um, sequence of things like in each section. I don't think I will ever be a one medium only artist kind of artist. I really, my training is as a conceptual artist so it was not really dedicated to one form or one medium. It's really about ideas or what you want to communicate with the, through your art and I usually part from there and then decide 
uh, which medium I use, but I mostly navigate between video photography, installation and sculpture. So I've been working a lot with installations, maybe because that's the way to accommodate all these three things together. And, and it's again another way to, to bring the experience of space to the viewer then, maybe not to, but like from my um, interest in uh, space, I can address that through the way I install the work. Actually, my dark painting look very differently according to the place where my painting is and the position of uh, the viewer and the time. And uh, the painting is always under the influence of uh, the reality. For example, in the light, the painting reflects the reality, I mean the outside. And in the dark, um, my painting absorb the vision of the viewer. It is always very fascinated with me um, because the painting, in a specific time, the painting makes a kind of a visual illusion. The art is the manifestation of the experience, um, the intellect, memory of the artist, and artist has to pose the question and reflect of our society and reality um, that they belong to. Meine, alle meine Themen haben sehr stark in meinen persönlichen Bezug. Auch an diesen Ort kenne ich eigentlich seit meiner Kindheit. Es geht immer um den Menschen und sein Umfeld und so. Das sind so die Themen irgendwie. Das heißt, ja, Veränderungen gibt es und so, aber das ist trotzdem alles bleibt irgendwie in dem im Rahmen des Dokumentarischen. Ich arbeite analog und ich arbeite mit Großformattechnik, weil es mir wichtig ist, dass ich da keine Schnappschüsse mache, dass ich mehr Zeit brauche und dass ich anders mit Aufnahmesituationen und generell mit Menschen umgehe. Alleine durch die Technik und so bin ich gezwungen, irgendwie länger am Ort zu sein und irgendwie mir Gedanken zu machen über die Fotografie und man über das Projekt und über mein Thema und so. Das war meine, für mich auch eine Art äh, meine Entdeckungsreise und meine generell meine, die Kunst meine, für mich ist irgendwie äh, eine Erkenntnismethode irgendwie, weil man durch Fotografie und man durch meine Kunst und meine künstlerischen Themen und so äh, man erfahre ich selbst mehr meine, über das Leben und meine, über die Menschen. I would connect art to a poetry or a novel or any kind of a medium which which I think art takes you to, it takes uh, your pressures away from the real life and it asks you to appreciate uh, something which you like. So it is very intuitive, instinctive and uh, it has to be felt, first of all. So, and art is something I think which can do that, which can make a person believe or like something or appreciate something. And even for a moment, it takes you to a different world. I think then art is successful. I don't think about like an ideal beholder. I actually like the idea that the work can uh, be shown in different places and be received in different ways. And of course, that showing this work in Brazil will trigger uh, different reactions and thoughts um, in the audience that it will hear. And this conversation for me is different because it's again, it's the idea of like shifting the perspective and, and seeing how things are relative. And, and so it's the same way that I try to, the place that I try to occupy as an artist. That is like, oh, let's, let's shift to this thing and try to look at this from a different perspective. It happens with the work itself when it's out there in the world.